Guys, one of the biggest challenges to prepping is to keep things organized. Uh, keeping your gear in certain packs, not stealing from your packs, which I've been guilty of in the past. And having what you need, knowing where it is. Uh, we're going to take a look at a couple of pouches today. And these are new from Roaring Fire Gear. This is the Smolder. And I'll tell you what, this with the wax canvas, it's a beautiful pouch. Uh, you know, they have a lot of different type pouches that are, you know, more the ballistic nylon with the molly attachments. This gets more to more the traditional classic look. I mean, this looks like something out of a safari, <laughs> something that's worn. And yet it has all the modern design features of your standard packs. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. And, you know, guys, I really enjoy my gear. I like things that look good and things that you know, just feel right. And this is one of those packs. And then we have the Firelight. Now this is a smaller pack. It's in the ballistic nylon. has the Molly attachments. But it's a very small pack and it's a little bit of an unusual size. I have a fire kit in the Firelight and this is just that smaller size that doesn't take too much room and yet I'm not tempted to put a lot of other stuff in there. And so we're going to take a look at some of the contents and these are just great little packs, and we really appreciate Roaring Fire Gear for sending both the uh, Smolder and the Firelight for us to check out. Well, guys, we have two different pouches here, and one of the things about this pouch is one that I typically use quite a bit. It's that medium size. It's not too small, but yet it, you can put a lot of gear in it. And so I really like this, and this is the Smolder. And then we have the Firelight. This is a smaller pack, but there are times where I need something more compact, something that I'm putting in here, uh, you know, that I want like for a fire kit. And so we're going to look at these two. We're going to go through the contents. Uh, but, you know, definitely a couple of different type packs. Uh, this one with the wax canvas, I love it. Uh, you know, it gives it some water resistance, and yet it has that really kind of worn look to it. And the longer you have it, the more it gets that kind of cool, just vintage look. Very classic. And, you know, I, I like that. I'm You know, I see these standard ballistic nylon you know, tight packs with Molly all over it. This really kind of just trips my trigger. And I was part of the inspiration for this. I had a lot of input. One thing I love is they use the brass or the uh, metal zippers. And these are YKK, which are some of the best in the industry. They're self-lubricating. They're very easy. Paracord pull with the vacuum seal or vacuum tubing closures. It's going to keep that sealed. I have a nice hook and loop field on the front. And we have a different color down here toward the bottom. It just gives it a nice contrast. Uh, and then we have the Roaring Fire logo on top. A uh, couple of little hooks here for D-rings or if you want to attach this in some way. Then here on the back we have kind of a molly attachment setup, but you can also use this through a belt loop if you need to. And we have brass fixtures here at the bottom. Again, classic and just looks great. But it's also kind of modernized. It does have the grab handle, and of course, this is also modern. Um, and so it gives you that classic look to it, and yet you have something that's very user-friendly that takes advantage of, honestly, modern designs. Uh, we have double YKK zippers here at the back, and it pulls all the way down to those little loops. And then as we open it up, I mean, you just have one of those kind of packs that you typically have, uh, you know, with the elastic bands. Uh, and then here we have two large, and then we have four across the top. And then you have a sleeve here in the back. Now this is great for like an EDC pouch, and I have a number of different items. This is just a, um, a small little multi-tool that has bits, and you have a driver at the end. Uh, this is actually from Obi. Uh, this is a pr pretty cool little titanium tool. Uh, we also have a Griffin tool, which is a little uh, multi-tool as well, a lot of different functions. And we have one of the Olight, and this is the i5T EOS, really excellent light. Gets really bright, very small package. And this uses your AA batteries, which I do like. We have a SOG multi-tool, and guys, you know, having a capable multi-tool is great, especially for the pliers. I like to have those, but I typically do not keep these in my pocket or on my person because I don't use multi-tools as much as I do other things. So I like to have a pack for it. Uh, and then we have a whistle with a compass. This is another Obi product. It is in titanium. Uh, they are putting out some pretty cool stuff over there at Obi. And have a Fisher space pen, which goes along with my field notes 
uh, little pad. And you should always have something to write things down with. You know, I mean, you're always needing it anyway, but in a survival situation, this could really come in handy to write some things down. Uh, and then we have a flashlight, and this is on a keeper uh, in the loop, and it has that little bit of a carabiner, just a great little light to have. Um, one of the things about light is it's so important for me, and so I really like to have multiples. Now, the inside is not wax canvas, it's the material that is before the canvas, but it is a nice, very soft, very easy on your gear. And then we have this reinforcement all the way around to keep it really tight. Uh, and they're doing double and triple stitched on all the stuff, so it makes it, you know, very durable. Uh, and then we have this compartment. Now, I really like this. This is just kind of a, a flap that comes over, and it has the mesh netting. Uh, YKK zippers, they're not metal, but they're the standard YKK. Uh, and then we have a uh, Sunto compass, and we have a bandana. Now, this really represents, you can put some unusual items in this section that may not fit in any of these areas. And so, you know, there's a lot of different things that you can do with this, and you can see through it to be able to get to things. And, of course, those zippers are excellent. The mesh netting is very well done, and so it just flips over. Reveals the mirror of this, which is great because this is a really good setup. I mean, I love the elastic loops, and it gives you a number of different elastic loops for both sides. Uh, and this, again, is more of an EDC possible survival kit where I have fire starting, and of course, ExoTac, fire rods, uh, we have another flashlight, which, again, I'm just big on having flashlights, but it did fill the slot. <laughs> this is one of the S1 batons. And then we have a multi-tool, and I got this off of a website that has all kind of cool multi-tools. Uh, it does have a driver, and you do have a bit. Uh, so, you know, there's a lot of cool EDC tools out there on the market, and it's really nice. Now, this is a Sabenza, and uh, the, he is incredible for just really high-quality knives. And so, just goes right in there. This is titanium as well. You kind of see a, a theme there. But this is brass, and this is just a, a stake, or, you know, could be used for a self-defense option. Um, and it's just something I think is absolutely incredible looking, so I like it. Uh, and then we have just a Bic lighter. Now, these items are just things you can set this up however you want to. And it gives you a lot of capability. Uh, here in the back, just have some cotton balls and Vaseline. Great for fire starting, uh, and of course to go with my other fire starting uh, tools, which I highly recommend always having fire starting tools uh, with your EDC stuff because it just gives you the capability to start a fire, and fire is so important in a survival situation. So you can see that I've got a ton of stuff here, and it all fits in here very nicely. Uh, it doesn't swell the pack too much, so you could actually add more items if you really wanted to. And then, you know, when you want to just close it up, it's real easy easy peasy. <laughs> so it just kind of comes together and it makes a really nice pouch with all of this gear inside. Oh, and I did forget almost the front pouch. And this is where I just keep band-aids and alcohol preps, prep pads. Uh, and the big reason for this is, you know, being a knife reviewer or outdoors, a lot of times I cut myself and it just makes the camera work a lot better when I'm not bleeding. So Great thing just to have up front, and it's a nice little pouch, actually. But once you have this filled up, this gets really narrow, uh, but it's very easy to get items like this out of there. Again, brass, zipper, I think that really has a good touch to this pack. Now, this pouch is 7 inches in height. It's about 5 inches in width and about 3 inches when you fill it up. Uh, and, of course, you can still pack some things in here. There's still some room. Very capable pouch. And this is the smolder. Now the firelight. This is a standard, you know, ballistic nylon, 500 denier. Uh, we have seatbelt material here and here. This is Molly compatible, uh, and this is really strong. Um, we have a small slot here at the front, and I'm going to get into that in a second. But YKK zippers, double pulls, and you have these small keepers on the end. Uh, and then we have a small little loop here at the back where you can put this on your belt, or you can put it sideways on your belt. So it just gives you some options. Uh, what I really like about this is that it's small, and I can put my fire kit in here. I don't have to have a big, huge, uh, whole setup. 
and this really gives me what I need. And that's going to start out with this in the front pouch. Now, when this is empty, it's a lot easier to get out, but this is just a Fresnel lens. I keep it in the cellophane just to protect it. Great fire starting capability, especially in the sun. And it's free and it never runs out of fuel, hopefully. <laughs> but then we have these double pulls. It comes down about three quarters of the way. And then we open it up and I've got my fire kit contents in here. Uh, so another fire rod from Exotac. These are excellent. Um, I have a knife, which I like to keep a knife in my fire kits. One that has enough carbon to strike this rod. This is one of the O knife splints. Uh, and it's just an excellent knife. They have ceramic ball bearings. I like the orange color because I don't want to lose the knife. And so I put this with my fire kits, but still capable to be used for regular task. Uh, I have some tender tabs in here, which, you know, are great for fire starting. Of course, the easiest way to start a fire is your Bic lighter. Uh, the problem is, is this wheel can get corroded and it can be difficult or your fuel can run out. So while this is the way I create fire most of the time, I love to have other fire options. Uh, and I've got many. Uh, this is one of the uh, Exotac candle tins. It's a four hour candle. And also with Exotac, you get 20% off using Suits 20 with the link down below in the description. One thing I will show you too is that this little capsule, not only does it look really cool, but it opens up to a compartment and you have a tender tab right here. And so you've always got fire capability or tender. And then these rods actually are replaceable. So big shout out to Exotac because they're just excellent. Uh, and then we have one of the Exotac Nano Sparks. This just creates a spark to get, get it started. And it's a very simple but yet very effective. And inside we have another tender tab. And you can start the fire with that spark on your tender tab. Uh, replace the flint. There's a lot of cool things you can do with this. Now, we also have some uh, waterproof matches. And these are actually like light bulb matches. You can see with the orange tip. And I bought these at Home Depot. They had a whole case of them. It was over with the um, fireplaces or heat sources. And I was kind of surprised to find them. And they were a lot more reasonable than you can find in other places. And so in here, also we have a zippered compartment. And then I have some fatwood. And fatwood's great to get fire started. This will burn a little bit longer, but it's really excellent. And so you got a sleeve in the back, you got a zippered compartment here, and you have two elastic loops. It's simple, but yet you've got a lot of capability and everything is compact. And the cool thing is this is my fire kit and it's in the fire light. So, you know, and I like having them in these, again, these little bit smaller pouches. The price on the Smolder EDC pack is $46.99. You've got your YKK metal zippers, you have wax canvas, uh, it has a lifetime warranty, which both do, and it's free shipping over $49 in the US. So that covers a lot to bring this price even down lower. And you get a 10% discount using RF10 when you go to the Roaring Fire Gear website. Uh, same goes here uh, with the Firelight, but this is $16.99. So a very small pack and yet very capable. And again, uh, I have fire kits, I have EDC items. You can do whatever setup that you have. And two, to go along with the smolder, they do have the Pioneer mini tool rolls and these are wax canvas as well. Uh, and we've shown these a number of times. I'm a big fan of tool rolls. The big thing is, is you can lay these out and you have everything right there in front of you. And so I like tool rolls, but I also like this type pouch for the items that are in it. And guys, this isn't an affiliate. I do some stuff with Roaring Fire Gear just to kind of help them out. And my buddy NC Hill works there. So I'm not making anything on these. I just like their products. Guys, again, organization is huge. And, you know, having the right size packs can really make the difference. It can keep things together. And with the Smolder, I mean, this gives you a lot of capabilities, but yet it has that great classic look to it. I mean, I love this. The wax canvas the design, and yet it's a very modern design pack, has features where you can use it even with today's standards. And then you can go maybe with the Firelight, which goes more toward that tactical side, and yet it's smaller and it's very capable, and yet just great for a little fire kit or for smaller items. And you're not tempted to pile a bunch of other stuff in here. So check out Roaring Fire Gear. Again, you get a lifetime warranty. 
and you get free shipping over $49. And we really appreciate Growing Fire Gear for sending these packs. I'm going to tell you, this one, I love this pack. Of course, I had a lot to do with it, but I still love it. Guys, when it comes to fire, it is essential to survival. And having a good fire kit and knowing how to use it is vital for survival situations. And Exotac makes the best fire starters on the market. Made in the USA, down in Winder, Georgia. Using really high-grade aluminum, they machine some really beautiful handles, a lot of different features, replaceable ferro rods, and a number of other different fire starting tools. You get 20% off using Suits20 with the link down below in the description. And a big thank you to Exotac for sponsoring today's video. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. Now the beautiful thing about, okay, nah. I love the design of it. In fact, I was actually participated in, in having things together. You know where they are. I mean, it is the, I mean, I mean, I mean.